Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar here, and I'm joined by Rado CEO, Adrian Bassard. Very nice to meet you, thank you for joining us. Just to set the agenda here before we begin, in front of us we have a good collection of watches that were released this year, or potentially something that's coming out a little bit in the future. But I wanted this opportunity to talk a little bit about these pieces, but also talking with a leader of the brand so that people could probably better understand Rado. Like Rado for me, it's this brand that is two-dimensional. You have the classic side of what you do, but you're also a daring brand in many ways. Use of materials, designs. But say somebody's watching this for the first time and they haven't inspected Rado at all, or they're just coming into this brand for the first time. What would you say to them to pique their interest to look a little further, uh, especially here in the United States? It's a growing brand. It's a very global, prominent brand, but there probably are certain people out there that maybe don't have a full understanding of what the brand is about. Thank you, Teddy, for the introduction. It's also a great pleasure for me uh, to talk about uh, this amazing brand, Rado, in front of your big audience, uh, <laughs> a lot of watch lovers and watch connoisseurs. Uh, uh, finally, Rado is a brand which I really would like to underline, it's unique because on one side uh, we have uh, finally uh, also the slogan, we are the master of materials due to the fact that um, since 1962 we, have, we were the first brand who had launched uh, a hard metal watch with a full scratch uh, resistant watch. That means since all this time we were always in terms of uh, materials, innovations, first brand also who have used ceramic for products and with this of course we have created our uh, image as the master of material. This is definitely one field of the strength and the uniqueness of Rado that uh, we are uh, working with bronze, with especially ceramic, ceramos, with materials who we're bringing a lot of advantage to the customer. On the other side, Rado is a brand who is working also with unique designs. That would mean uh, the biggest part of our watch, you don't need to, to look the logo on the dial to re recognize Rado. Because mm -hmm. a Diastar Original, a Captain Cook, a Centrix, a True, they are unique products. They are not mainstream products. They are not inspired from the designs from others. We have the inspiration from our proper DNA and this is make real the particularly unique design, profile design and on the other side a tremendous competence since over 60 years in the use of material, hard metal, ceramos and ceramic. You talked about 1962, so I want to look, we have two collections here that can look back to that date. Let's start with the Captain Cook because the last five years the Captain Cook has become, at least where I have now seen the brand, has become this very crucial staple within your collection. When you relaunched this uh, and really gave it a new identity in these last several years, what was it about the Captain Cook collection? Can you fill us in as well on the, just a little bit of the history and why you saw it was such a huge opportunity for the brand to shift into? Probably for those who know Rato since uh, many years, Rato was always very strong in the field of classical watch and also lifestyle watches, iconic designs. But in the field of sporty watches, uh, Rato had uh, not, uh, you know, a big assortment. And uh, we all know uh, all the, the watch connoisseurs since uh, 10, 15 years, diving watches, sporty mm -hmm. watches with turning bezel are very, very appreciated. And due to the fact that our brand has also strong roots and strong designs from the past, we have recognized that in the 60s, uh, Rado had launched the first Captain Cook 1962 and uh, it was uh, a watch of course with a turning bezel, it was a, a water watch as for, for, uh, for uh, people who, are, who like to have a waterproof watch also with turning bezel and we said okay we will do a special edition, it was in uh, 2017, we will do a special edition with the original size, uh, mm -hmm. 37mm mm -hmm. and this watch was immediately sold out and after this we have extended, we have launched uh, the Captain Cook uh, steel version with ceramic bezel 2019 after the bronze ver version and since 2020 we are working with also the Captain Cook in, uh, in high tech ceramic. And you know, in terms of design, when you take uh, here for sure. instance the Captain Cook um, high tech ceramic, it's fully inspired from the, the DNA and the shape from 1962 
but equipped with the most modern material in the watchmaking. Mm -hmm. First of all, premium movement, uh, five position test, very precise, very accurate, anti-magnetism. Finally, a full ceramic uh, case, very light, scratch resistant mm -hmm. and very wear friendly. That will mean it's a watch which is offering a unique design, also with this typical bezel who is falling in yes. and with this glass box you know which is really giving this, this they oppose each other uh, design you know, yes nicely, yes let's go back to the overpool just very quickly so this was a watch that was released earlier this year you talk about the 37 millimeter case but you look at the original captain cook formula this looks very much of the heritage style you get some world time functionality can you tell us a little bit more about this piece yeah you know, also in 1962, the first Captain Cook overpole was launched. And uh, when we defined how we could celebrate this anniversary, we said we want to take this unique piece to celebrate the anniversary and to create a limited edition, limited on 1962 pieces, linked on the, the, the birthday of this watch. And here it was important, we said, we will take exactly the same shape, exactly the same proportions, that will mean it's exactly the same size and also with the same proportions, DNA I the former piece, but also here, of course, it's uh, not anymore a hesalit glass, it's a glass box in sapphire. We have also the ceramic bezel, and what is also important, we have here a beautiful uh, new refinished hand winding movement, mm -hmm. really, it's underlining also the roots until 1962 and it was really a pleasure how strong this model was appreciated due to the fact that it's 37 millimeter, it's a typical unisex watch. We have even a lot of ladies who like to wear, sure. you know, uh, a such, uh, of course, masculine watch but with a good size and also we have a lot of customers who appreciate also to have a smaller watch and therefore it's really a product which we are really proud with this beautiful hand winding movement and this typical also vintage uh, design. That's beautiful. Let's go to something that's a little more different, but you have this other pillar within the Captain Cook family at 42 millimeters, yeah. which is the common size. I'm wearing a more you know, traditional gray version. This one is more of a two-tone option. But talk about this as well. Uh, just This is, I would say, the cornerstone of the Captain Cook collection in terms of 42 millimeter that people associate now that we've seen the 37 was released in 2017. Now you've shifted into more of this. But these are those two specific places that someone can sit now with the Captain Cook. Yeah. This one, of course, has a little bit more of a color plate with it as well. Of course, we see definitely that, uh, you know, the size of 42, it's uh, a size which is really for uh, gentrists or even lady who, wear, who like to wear big watches. It's a very appreciated uh, diameter. And what is unique also on this watch is the combination of the colors here with the yellow gold, uh, also uh, colored, the, the Reo and also the yellow gold indexes uh, on the ceramic bezel. It's a product which is really appreciated on a global scale and um, of course here we have a screw down back case, mm -hmm. 300 meter waterproof, that will mean it's uh, a product which is really uh, can be used for sport, for diving, for uh, also casual activities. It's really a product which is very, very appreciated. We have the steel version, yes. which you are wearing yes. with the race green uh, strap, which is a little bit more classical. Mm -hmm. And we have here the three link bracelet, which is very appreciated, you know, because it's, uh, it's more sporty. So we have for both tastes a little bit more classical and here more sporty the appropriate uh, strap for it. And that's important to mention when you're looking at both the 37 millimeter options, the 42 millimeter options, wide variety of dial colors to choose from. I'd say all of them wear smaller too, like the 42, I mean, I typically like a smaller watch, but this wears wonderfully. You have a, you know, this lug to lug dimension that sits pretty flat on the wrist. I mean, it looks good on me. Moving up to the high-tech ceramic. So this is where I always think about when looking at a brand, where can they differentiate from the entire market? This use of ceramic is absolutely it. And for those that are unfamiliar with this process, I want to talk about the process a little bit because you truly are, we talk about 30 years of using ceramic as a material. Bezel inserts is typically where a lot of people associate ceramics. That didn't become popular for the last 15 to 20 years. So you were way ahead of the curve on this. To get a fully ceramic case bracelet watch for this three to $4,000 price range, that is an anomaly. 
So could you tell us a little bit more about the high-tech ceramic in general and just why you're so you know, just proud of this piece and also why should people be aware of this thing and understand how cool it is? Yeah. You know, first of all, I would say to, to be aware what a high-tech ceramic watch is offering, you have to feel the watch and you have mm -hmm. to, to take the watch on the wrist. And feel the watch that will mean when you have, uh, you know, such sporty uh, big watch uh, in the hand, you have the feeling it should be heavy. And in the end, it's very light because uh, the ceramic is 40% lighter than steel. Mm -hmm. And this is not only the only advantage, the other advantage, it's remain new the whole life of the watch because it's very scratch resistant. Ceramic uh, is. Uh, uh, can only be scratched with diamonds. Uh, mm -hmm. That will mean it's the most resistant material in the watch production. Mm -hmm. That will mean no scratch, so scratch resistant. And on the other side also, it's very wear friendly. When you have a ceramic watch on the wrist, you don't feel the watch because it takes immediately the temperature of uh, your body and you don't feel it. So you have to feel really the rather difference. This is the end consumer advantage. And on the other side, of course, uh, as a CEO of uh, the Rato brand, I'm very proud always when I'm entering in our factories and I see the whole procedure to create, uh, you know, ceramic. It's starting by the feedstocks, uh, you know, to create the ceramic, the injection part, and mm -hmm. after all the ovens, uh, and also the finishing, the polishing, and the finishing of all the days. It's really a very, very complex procedure, really value for money, uh, it's unbeatable and therefore the biggest part of uh, our collection today is with ceramic. Uh, a certain part when you see the Captain Cook steel on the bezel, mm -hmm. but of course the high-tech ceramic Captain Cook, the full case and of course also uh, the, the, the bracelet. 43 millimeter case and uh, these are a little bit larger watches, but this was the kind of extension up from the Captain Cook, but they wear so light. And for those that have never handled ceramic watches, knowing the complexity of this, you're talking about a process that starts with the uh, zirconium oxide powder. You're breaking that down. You have a polymer agent, fuses it together. You put it, put it in a mold, which you have to create individually for all these links as well. Then you're heating, you're heating that up, bonding it, then heating it down again to make sure it has the perfect amount of shape. This process takes weeks at a time. So it's remarkable that this is, I would say, now a leading candidate for a full ceramic watch. So I just want people to understand the process of ceramic. Teddy, I'm really proud to you were in our factory. You saw you yes, know, how we are proceeding this. You see the procedure to create the fit stock after the injection procedure with this with these very uh, high-end toolings mm -hmm. uh, after, of course, also uh, the procedure in the ovens. Uh, it's a procedure which is really high engineering and high uh, technical uh, procedure on which you need, uh, of course, uh, experience and, uh, of course, very competent engineers in order to be capable to realize such kind of uh, quality. And we also, this is new upcoming for next year as well, so we have a little sneak peek yeah. for what's to come as well. Moving finally. 1962 again, you talk about all the watches that I think many people will consider for Rado. This might be towards the top. You talk about that revolution and what has allowed you to be the master of materials and ha having that reputation. Tell us a little bit more about the Diastar. Yeah. And then we have two different versions. We have the 60 year anniversary yeah. and we also have the original, which has a few different dial colors to yeah. choose from. So this is one commemorating that 60 years first. Let's maybe start, start with, the original. With, sure. uh, with, with the standard uh, version. You know. The Dia Star original was born 1962 and it was born with a clear vision. The management of Rato at the time, they said, we want to offer uh, to the customer a really a full scratch resistant watch. Mm -hmm. And remember, no, you cannot remember, you were not born at the time. <laughs> I need not. But however, 1962, all the watches were created with uh, mineral glasses um, mm -hmm. or uh, Acrylic. brass, uh, yes, sure. brass uh, cases. Yeah. That would mean they were not waterproof, they were not scratch resistant. And Dorado was the first brand who have used sapphire crystal for the glass and the hard metal case to, to launch a watch full, full scratch resistant. And on top of that, they said, we want to have a unique design, not just a round design, a unique design. 
And in April 1962, this watch was presented at the Basel Fair, and everybody said, ah, you're out, you're crazy, you know, uh, such kind of design. And it created, Yuri, a tremendous uh, success. And uh, this success is still today, that will mean during 60 years, the same shape and the same features, hard metal cases, uh, where on a worldwide scale, very, very appreciated, is a very appreciated model. And therefore, we said uh, two years ago, 1962 was the, was the launch of the watch, 2022 will be the 60th anniversary. We want to do a really an evolution of this piece in terms of size, mm -hmm. to keep the same design uh, language, but of course, to upgrade also the product in terms of movement and uh, material, and therefore, Today, the cases are not anymore in hard metal, they are in ceramos. Mm -hmm. It's much harder even than hard metal, lighter than hard metal with exactly the same feature like ceramic. That you mean, here you see ceramos case, and you know also this uh, structured uh, sapphire glass. It's uh, really a piece, really uh, timeless. And uh, this is the version of the standard collection and due to the anniversary of this model, we have created together with one of the most appreciated Swiss designer, Alfredo Haberli, an anniversary edition. Also here you see same case, but this time brushed. And also the glass is not, uh, you hmm. know, uh, vertical structured glass. We have here a hexagon uh, structure. Hmm. In order for every single decade, we have an element. Uh, so it's really in terms of design, in terms of also uh, uh, finally uh, also anniversary uh, edition, something which is unique and something which is very appreciated. Also here we have the easy clip system to change mm -hmm. bracelet. Here you have the version with uh, the synthetic strap. We have a Milanese strap uh, also that you mean you can change also the that the strap in a very easy way without tooling. So very appreciated and we are uh, looking forward now to launch on a global scale this watch, uh, the Alfredo Happily Anniversary Edition, unique design, in impossible to compa compare with some, somebody else because it's really an iconic design. You know, you have uh, an Omega Speedmaster, you have uh, an Nautilus, you have mm -hmm. uh, Audemars Piguet with the Royal Oak, mm -hmm. and we have the Rado with this unique design with the other original, which is so silhouette. unique. The case silhouette is, allows you to recognize it, and I think that's what you're talking about from across the room. You can know that this is a Rado. Another thing that I'll call out too, smaller cases, talking about 38 around uh, millimeter case, but the other thing, just from a give perspective on the hardness of this material. You have on a Vickers hardness scale, stainless steel, if it's untreated around 200 uh, Vickers. This is around 1700. So just give scale to how, when you're talking about this being a scratch proof watch, it really is that. It's, it's absolutely r ridiculous how uh, scratch resistant that is going to be. So Adrian, thank you very much. I appreciate you giving us this deep dive on these pieces uh, and it was a pleasure to meet you. Also for me and Teddy, I'm really impressed about your know-how also, uh, you know, you could be uh, the best salesman of Rado, you know, you know the Vickers of the Ceramos 1700 Vickers. It's also thanks, thanks to this knowledge and thanks to this passion to the watch mm -hmm. industry that we have, a, that you have a so big audience that you mean really, uh, it was nice to talk with you and uh, appreciate uh, your passion for the group, uh, for uh, the, the watch industry and, and your passion for Rado. Thank Absolutely. You. Yeah. I'm just a nerd for this stuff, so I really love it. So thank you again. Appreciate it, Adrian. Until okay. next time. Thanks, Teddy. Bye everybody.